she was also one of the arbiters of this entire force. And she's looking back in retrospect being like, hmm, maybe I was the here. Speaking of victims, uh, now Gamergate was a thing. And I, look, this happened back in the screw attack days, like right as I was on the way out of screw attack, I guess. I, I did not really know Gamergate was happening when Gamergate was a thing. This is 2014 or four, 2014, 2015. Damn, this, I graduated high school then. Yeah, we, we established your young here, Vlad. We, esta we established it. I'm sick of this young ass bullshit. <laughs> right. So I, I, I did not know what Gamergate was when it was happening. It was just one of those things you see a headline for Gamergate, blah, 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 right? But I didn't know. And I, I still don't really know what it was about. I don't really care, right? But when you look at the, um, the Wikipedia page, which is about as reliable as you know, the, the gum on the bottom of my shoe, uh, it says, Gamergate was, loose, was a loosely organized misogynistic online harassment campaign and a, right, and a right wing backlash against feminism, feminism diversity, and pro progressivism <laughs> in video game con, uh, culture. It was conducted using the hashtag Gamergate primarily in 2014 and 15. Beginning of August 2014, Gamergate targeted women in the video game industry, most, notice, most, most noticeably feminist media critic Anita Sarkeesian and video game developers Zoe Quinn and Brianna Wu. Uh, the harassment campaign include doxing, rape threats, and death threats. So, uh, why is this it is, right wing? Well, of course, anything is right wing. So, everything is. It's crazy. But the one name you hear is Brianna Wu. And Brianna Wu was one of the uh, Gamergate ringleaders back in the day of like, this is what's wrong with the video game industry. And Brianna Wu recently came out in the last couple of days and had some pretty, I'd say, an interesting retrospective on, on Gamergate. And this goes back to the whole broken clock thing, the analogy that we talked about here. And I wanted to read off her tweet. And if she's just tweeting this, she's been thinking about this for a while. And this came at 5.51 in the morning, put oh, that in perspective. Oh, shit on the mind. Yeah. So she was either thinking about this and like, who wakes up at 5.51 and, and tweets this shit? I don't know. <laughs> but maybe, maybe she was like out of country. Uh, no, she was not. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that in. Well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she said, I don't think I'm the only progressive with a ton of resentment built up over a decade at the fringe online left. Here we go. It's such a cancerous set of tactics, waves of anonymous accounts acting like cops, morally loaded language out of proportions to any issue out of hand, taking statements out of context and twisting them into dishonest ways for a dunk, an inability to provide credible sources for extraordinary claims, a total disdain for nuance, and always, always, always a ravenous appetite to hurt people on our own side. That's where that's where the issue is and with the this person. Yes. If it was all and the reputation, the side, they wouldn't care. And the reputation of progressives has been destroyed accordingly. Accordingly, we de were deeply unpopular in the party. We've seen a harassing. We've seen as uh, we're seen as harassing assholes online. The way we used to critique gamers for behaving. By the way. The culture on Twitch and YouTube is constantly documenting the hypocrisy and insanity, and it's well-deserved. A decade ago, when we were uh, more associated with policies like Medicare for All, there was a window for us to become the next evolution of the party, and it was utterly squandered. I'll always be a progressive, but I think the policies are the right ones. They are because I think the policies are the right ones. But it's time to admit that online progressives are too destructive to ever be to ever uh, be a meaningful political force in America, except in the sense we are driving normal people into the arms of the right. So this was one of the driving forces for Gamergate back in the day, and now what she's she kind of like, like, well, that's why that's like the most important part to me because when women talk, it's like that, 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 that. You know, I just want to see the face. Oh, she's not pretty. Hang on. Okay. There we go. 
Hello, well, darkness, my old friend. I, Wait, look, so I, is she Asian? Where the fuck did Wu come from? I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I think she married married an Asian guy. Okay. Um, but it, it doesn't. I don't really. I don't like to attack people on their I looks do. personally. I love it. <laughs> we have no shame I here. I love to do that. Um, but she continued on with this as after this caught a little traction. Now look, th- I'm sure she says stuff that I don't agree with at all, right? But I, there's sometimes where you look at it and you'd be like, oh, yeah. way to figure this she thing out, right. right? She is right about this. But she continued on in her timeline here with this. Is Leftist Twitter is wild. They'd be like, baseball is four strikes and you're out. And then if you, then if you politely explain it's three strikes, you get called a war crime <laughs> supporter. Wait a second. <laughs> Chad's saying that's a man. Is it? Is- is Brianna Wu an actual dude? I'm going. No, I don't think Brianna was an actual. That actual would be unfortunate. Dude. Um, if she's not, that's unfortunate to look like that. Yeah. So, anyways, um, it's it's crazy to see kind of the. Uh, no, they saying she is. Well, okay, I I guess I don't I don't know. Well, I this don't makes know. it even funnier and hypocritical. Well, <laughs> if he, she's actually a he. <laughs> <laughs> No, she's I don't female, know. Someone said, "I don't know. I don't. I, you know what? She, do, uh, Brianna Wu, does not have their pronouns in their bio. So maybe, w. maybe she's actually a she, guys. I w. can't find anything about it. Just ugly. I don't know. That's unfortunate. <laughs> well, anyway, but, like I said, but <laughs> it's just interesting to see the uh, the turnabout that's happened here with with Brianna Wu and realizing that I think." She was also one of the arbiters of this entire force. And she's looking back in retrospect being like, hmm, maybe I was the asshole here. Mm," You know, and so good on Brianna Wu for realizing that. And and it goes back to that insatiable appetite will ultimately come for you when they want to gobble you up. The last thing that she should ever do is apologize. It's crazy. And as, as Kay pointed out, Wu literally helped create the problem 10 years ago. Right. She literally was part of the problem. So uh, that's, that's the craziest uh, thing. Humble Dermer just says, Wu. <laughs> Wu looks like a melted and weak frozen <laughs> stick, a butter stick. That's fucked up. Um, Dude, I'm looking at her tweets. They're like all over the place. I don't yeah, think this yeah. woman can make up her mind. <laughs> she, she, is, she is extremely political. Extremely yeah. political. Trans political. Uh, she's, she's been all over the place. <laughs> Rather than gender. Yes. But uh, anyways, I, I, get, I mean, look, I've, I've, I've talked shit about Mark Cuban. I think Mark Cuban is a giant piece of shit. He, he, <laughs> you know, but at the same time, I, will expect, I, I do think that the things that he's done, like we have a, a community member who, after Mark Cuban sold, his, uh, sold the Mavericks a couple weeks ago, he gave $30 million to his staff as a, as a bonus, as a big pool, right? Oh. Now, now that's, that's cool. Like, once again, you can be a giant piece of shit and do good things. This is right? true. So it's, it's important to, to acknowledge those things when they happen. So, you know, and people can be really dumb. a piece of shit that does good things. Yeah, good for you, Flaw. At least you can admit it. 